showcase. Alex Mikus with you on a Saturday as it's Dayton and Stanford. The Flyers 4-0 on the season, coached by Jim Jaber in his 29th year of coaching, 13 seasons at UD, and what a job he has done as this team now has been able to reach the NCAA tournament six consecutive times. Last year, of course, going all the way to the Elite Eight. On the other side of the floor, it's the Stanford Cardinal 4-1, and one, and they are led by one of the greatest women's basketball coaches of all time, Tara Vanderveer in the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, looking to become just the second coach in women's basketball history to win 1,000 games. She has 957 wins, and she has been at Stanford for 30 years. Before that, she coached at Idaho and Ohio State. 37 years she's been coaching women's basketball. And the Stanford Cardinal, just one loss on the season, and that was to Santa Clara, still ranked 13th in the country. And it was an interesting game at home for Stanford in that loss to Santa Clara as it was 61-58 and a game that saw Stanford turn it over 28 times. And Santa Clara didn't shoot the ball all that well, but they were able to score in transition to knock off the Cardinal. But the four wins for Stanford, UC Davis, George Washington, which the Flyers are very familiar with, the winners of the Atlantic 10 last year, Gonzaga, and yesterday they topped Missouri State 82-65. The Flyers got here with a victory against the Maine Black Bears. It was a 21-point win for Jim Jaber's group. 58-37 would be the final. The other wins for the Flyers against some big-time competition, Vanderbilt, Wisconsin, and Yale. Dayton looking to play in the final for tomorrow as there'll be one more game here tonight between Purdue and Louisville and both these teams will be decided in playing those two squads when uh, looking at winning and losing. I will say this, the Flyers were able to top Maine yesterday. Maine turned around and beat Missouri State, who lost to Stanford on Friday. Dayton on the floor. Amber Dean, a senior, 5'9", played her high school basketball at Detroit Country Day, A-10 sixth woman of the year. Kelly Austria playing basketball at Carroll High School just down the road from the University of Dayton, a Beaver Creek, Ohio native. A senior wears the number 22. Jenna Burnett, the point guard from Coolville, Ohio, an all A-10 rookie selection a year ago. And Maddie Dennis, a freshman from Australia, getting another start. Six foot two, wearing the number 23. Sasha Grant Allen will be in the middle at six foot five. Number 55 will be going up against a very talented Erica McCall. Averaging a double-double, she'll wear the number 24. Kaylee Johnson also in the front court, a sophomore out of Wyoming. Carly Samuelson, junior, wearing the number 44. Lily Thompson and Brianna Roberson will be in the backcourt, and we are underway. The Flyers win the tip. They'll be moving right to left. Flyers wearing the home white with blue and red trim. And Stanford in their Cardinal Road uniforms with white and black trim. Dayton with the basketball here is Kelly Austria has it on the near side. Finds Dennis, going to drive to the hoop, cut off. Throws in the corner, Burdett a three. Bang! Jenner Burdett starts the party as Flyers on the board first. Three nothing, Roberson in the front court with the dribble. He'll give it over to Johnson. This is Thompson, middle of the lane, floater, no. Rebound, pulled down by McCall, and that is what she does best. Second chance opportunity, and she's able to finish. Flyers on top, 3-2, and with the basketball. Bertet seeing some pressure, handles it, gets it to Dean on the near side. Faking the screen, will go left. Now finds Dennis on a pick and pop. Missed it. Rebound, Stanford. Here's Thompson, a three. Near side was short. Rebound, McCall. Back out to Thompson, and she'll drive. Shot was blocked. Kelly Austria took it away. Here comes the senior into the front court with the right hand dribble. Guarded by Roberson, around the perimeter, finds Burdett. Picked up by Thompson, forcing her right. She'll come left with a ball screen from Dennis. Now to Austria in the corner. Kelly looking for a ball screen. Now moves it across the lane with the right hand. The finger roll up and in, and a nice move by Kelly. Flyers on top 5-2 with 8.24 left here in the first quarter. 
It's Roberson moving it over to Johnson. This is Samuelson, her first touch to McCall, top of the key. Might have got away with steps. We'll find Roberson, right wing. Roberson will dribble to the foul line, looking underneath, threw it out of bounds. Flyers doing a nice job when looking at homework as they were able to take Stanford away there. We saw the Cardinals score on that play multiple times yesterday in their victory against Missouri State. 5-2, our count here. Dayton on top and with the basketball. It's Dennis with the top of the key. She'll try a long two. It's good. Maddie Dennis out of Australia gets her first field goal. And the Flyers sharing the basketball here early on top by five. 7-2 the count with 7.45 left in the first quarter. Samuelson top of the key. We'll find McCall. High on the left side. Shovel pass to Thompson, guarded by Austria. We'll move it to Roberson, 10 to shoot. Loses the handle, ball on the floor, out of bounds. Last touch, Roberson. And Dayton's defensive pressure giving Stanford some trouble here early. So three Flyers have scored it. It was a balanced attack for Coach Jaber's group yesterday in their win against Maine. Substitution, we're gonna see Another Australian into the game, Alana Smith checks in. Also, the freshman, Marta Sneezik, wearing the number 13. Here's Burdett going to the hoop. No one stopped her, and with the right hand, Jenna's got five points, and the lead is seven. A great start for the Flyers. Sneezik getting into Smith. Nice catch, kick out, Samuelson, open three, missed it. Rebound came long, Burdett unable to control it, and it rolls out of bounds, but it was last touch by the Cardinal. Stanford, another substitution. This is gonna be Kylie Johnson. Might be some confusion, and Sasha Grant Allen also goes off. Jody Corneli Sigmundova comes on for the Flyers. The Stanford Cardinal have Kaylee Johnson, who wears the number five, and Kylie Johnson, who wears the number 32. It was a McDonald's All-American when looking back at 2013. Here's Burdett, five points and getting a screen and an illegal one at that. It's a foul against Jody and with that, Stanford able to force a turnover. Seven minutes left here in the first quarter and it's Dayton nine, Stanford two. Sneezik into the front court with the dribble, finds Smith, top the elbow. Pick and pop, Smith gonna let it go. A lot of Smith knocked it in from the left point. 9-5 the count. Flyers come back, nice entry pass into Jody, but good help defense there by Samuelson. Took it away. Flyers on top by four. Stanford with the basketball, 6.30 left here in the first quarter. This is Smith, top of the key, almost threw it away. Sneezik, nice crossover move, drive into the hoop. Missed the shot, Jody was there. Flyers unable to rebound though, as there was some confusion between Dennis and Austria. And an unfortunate break there for UD, as it'll stay with the Cardinal. Substitution for Dayton. Sasha Grant Allen comes on, Jody off. And for the first time, Andy Sikovic, junior from Croatia, to see some action. Here's Thompson driving baseline, and she went out of bounds. Nice job by Jenna Burdett holding ground. Dayton and Stanford, first time these two teams have ever met. Flyers on top by four. Here's Burdett with the basketball. Finds Andy inside to Grant Allen. Going to work. Right hand, missed the shot. Grant Allen still after it. She was fouled. Well, a great effort by 55. The junior out of Hamilton, Ontario, did well. Made a nice move and was unable to get it the first time. Seisha will go to the line for the first time for either group here today as both these teams active when looking at substituting. Javonna Layfield to come in, the sophomore out of Louisville, Kentucky. Kelly Austria goes off. Grant Allen was unable to convert her first free throw. Second one coming. Trying to make this a five point game. Two dribbles, takes a spin. And just misses. Rebound Stanford. Cardinal, Lily Thompson at 28 yesterday in their win against Missouri State, dribbling around the perimeter. He gives it up to Samuelson, to Smith, over to Sneezik. 
Guarded by Dean, now on a switch, gets it to Johnson. Finds Samuelson left side, and on a drive, she was fouled by Layfield. Nine five, five forty two left here in the first quarter. And Stanford to inbound right in front of the flyer bench. And Smith played for Australians U nineteen basketball squad this past summer in Russia. Ended up winning a bronze medal. Inbounds to Sneezek. Finds Thompson driving to the hoop, and that should be a charge. Officials got it right. Thompson a little bit of out of control, but the Flyers taking her away from the three-point arc is a very dangerous shooter. Thompson goes off, Roberson comes on. And Coach Vanderveer for Stanford not all too happy with her junior guard. Burdett leading all scores right now with five points. We'll hand it over to Sikovic. Over to Layfield in the corner. Bounce pass, finds Grant Allen. Nice kick out, Burdett, thought about three, we'll find Dean. Jab step, now she'll pull the trigger. Air ball, rebound, comes to Layfield. Nice find to Dean, but her shot was blocked by Smith. Here comes Stanford looking to push. Sneezik going to the hoop on the left side. Tried to bounce it across the lane to Johnson, but it was kicked by a flyer, and with that, it's gonna stay with the Cardinal. 5.08 on the game clock, 25 seconds on the shot clock. Inbounds to Sneezik, driving on the left side. Nice dump off pass to Smith, she was fouled. And that's going against Sasha Grant Allen. Smith, just a freshman out of Melbourne, Australia. Averaging seven points for the Cardinal, actually scoring the most points off the bench for Coach Vanderveer's group. And I was shocked to learn that Smith, who misses the first free throw, is the first international player to ever dress up at Stanford. Talk about a program just filled with history. Smith misses the second free throw. Good rebound there by Grant Allen. So both teams 0 for 2 at the line. Here's Dean back the other way, attacking. Missed the shot, but... Thought it might have been off Stanford. Instead, it's going to go. It's going to be off Layfield. And it'll be Stanford ball when we return. Take a break. Flyers on top. Nine to five. You're listening to the A10 Network. In Arena in Estero, Florida, right in between Fort Myers and Naples. And the Dayton Flyers on top here early, 9 to 5, with 4.58 left in the first quarter. They went to the scores table during that break, and they took a few seconds off the clock as they might have had an issue in not starting the clock. 
but they got it figured out. And here's Sneezik into the front court, guarded by Austria. Finds Smith, high post. Guarded by Sasha Grant Allen. Smith on the shovel, finds Samuelson. Picked up by Layfield, gonna drive left side. Nice dump off pass to McCall. And she's got her second field goal. Four points for Erica McCall, averaging close to 16 per contest. Cuts the lead to two. Here's Andy Sikovic finding Layfield in the corner. Working against Samuelson. Will dribble out of the corner and give it up to Austria. High on the left side. Austria moving it to the right side with the dribble. Now comes back to the left behind the back dribble. 10 seconds to shoot. Kick out pass to Dean. Dean working on Sneezik on a drive. Here's a kick. Andy, three ball, in and out. Got a good look. Rebound comes to Stanford. They look to tie or take the lead with a three. Samuelson missed it. Rebound fought for, out of bounds, and it will go to Dayton. Boy, Erica McCall and Sasha Grant Allen in a really good battle. As six foot three, Bakersfield, California, six foot five, Hamilton, Ontario. Now right now, they are banging on the boards. Nine to seven, Dayton on top, being led by Jenna Burdett with the basketball. We'll cross the timeline, guarded by Roberson. Finds Layfield, near side. Samuelson forcing her to her left. She'll go right around the perimeter and hand it off to Austria. Kelly looking for a ball screen, gets one from Sikovic. Nice move down Broadway with the left hand. Kelly Austria, her second field goal, and almost forces a turnover here coming back. The senior out of Beaver Creek, Ohio, playing her basketball for the Carroll Patriots. And what a high school career she had. I think when it was all said and done, fifth all time in Ohio high school history when looking at steals. Flyers on top, 11 7, 3.23 left here. In the first quarter, this is McCall with that left point. Guarded by Sikovic. Finds Samuelson. Top of the key, Smith, the three. It's her second of the game. Lana Smith has been a spark off the bench. Two triples. And here we got a travel on the inbounds. Roberson putting on some pressure. And Burdett turned around. And the sophomore from Coolville was surprised. Coach Jim Jaber not too happy with the call, but it's going to be a turnover in Stanford basketball, trailing by one. Samuelson to inbound, Sneezik, going to drive a nice pass, found McCall, missed the bunny though. Rebound, Jenna Burdett. Here come the Flyers on top by a point. Burdett looking for a three. It's good. Jenna Burdett feeling it. Coming into yesterday's game, was shooting 75% from three. Was 0 for 2 yesterday against Maine, but 2 for 2 here to start. 14 10 our score. Dayton on top, 238 left here in the first quarter. It's Smith who's had the hot hand. Gives it up to Roberson. Driving it left side. Tried to get into the corner. Tapped away by Austria. Burdett on the collection. Here comes Austria back the other way. Kick out to Burdett. Inside. Sikovic. Turnaround jumper. How sweet was that from Andy? And her first points today, Flyers back up by six. 16-10, 2.08 on the clock. Samuelson a deep three, missed it. Rebound, fought for, and it comes to Roberson. Sneezik tried to find Samuelson on a pretty creative play. And I don't think Samuelson was ready. Vanderveer, Coach Vanderveer talking to her point guard about that decision. Sikovic goes off, and coming on will be Jody Corneli Sigmundova. 158 on the clock, Dayton on top by six. 16-10, here's Jody with the basketball, and the dribble, finds Burdett, hot hand. My, oh my! Jenna Burdett is feeling it. From the right side, makes it a nine point game on three threes. Jenna's got 11 points. Leading all scores, 140 to play. McCall, the easy one there on the left side. Sasha tried to recover, but just could not. And a nice play by the Cardinal to trim this lead to seven, 19-12. Here's Jody putting it on the floor, back to Burdett. Just two Cardinal have scored it, McCall and Smith, both with six points. Jody with it high post, finds Austria near side. Bounce pass into Grant Allen, double team. Kick over, Jenna Burdett for four. 
No, missed it long. Rebound though, came to the Flyers. Here's Austria, pull up jumper, yes! Kelly Austria with six points, and Dayton off to a great start, 21-12. Thompson in the corner, picks up her dribble, finds Smith, top the key. Over to Samuelson, gets bumped, loses it, and able to collect in between the circles to McCall. On the right point, 13 seconds to shoot, 45 seconds left in the corner. Here's McCall, fires it from the baseline. Boy, she is tough. Eight points for Erica McCall. And we got a football score on a big day for football. 21-14 in favor of the Flyers. Austria with it, top the key. Inside to Jody, kick out. Javonna Layfield missed it long. Came right to Shea Chagrin Allen. Got the basket and was fouled. Right place, right time, and Sasha into the score column and looking at a three-point play with the free throw coming. Amber Dean will check back into the game. Layfield will go off. Substitution for the Cardinals. Smith will take a seat on the bench. And Kylie Smith will step back out on the floor. Sasha trying to make this a double-digit game. Free throw up and in. Largest lead for UD, it's 10 points. 24-14, Flyers on top. Shot clock turned off, 16 seconds left. Sneezik, bounce pass to Johnson, back to Sneezik. Three ball, missed it, rebound, fought for, out of bounds. And at last touch, Sneezik. Dayton with 7.8 left here in the first quarter, trying to beat the buzzer. Sneezik gonna pressure Burdett on the far side. Jenna looking for a ball screen, gets one. Kick in the corner, Dean at the horn, a three ball. Missed it. But a productive 10 minutes for the Dayton Flyers as they are on top by 10 against the 13th ranked Stanford Cardinal. Dayton and Stanford at the Gulf Coast Showcase. You're listening to the A-10 Network. Huh. Back to the Gulf Coast Showcase. Alex Micas with you on a Saturday. Jenna Burdett's career high is 14. In the first 10 minutes of this one, she had 11 on three threes. And the Flyers on top by 10 over the 13th ranked Stanford Cardinal. 24-14 our score. Winner or loser, uh, going to be playing winner or loser of our second game tonight, which will be Purdue and Louisville. Mentioned Burdett leading the way for the Flyers. Kelly Austria was able to add six points. And on the other side, just two Stanford players have scored. Erica McCall leads Stanford with eight points. And it was a lot of Smith, uh, Australian freshman, coming off the bench to hit two threes. Officials for tonight, Mark Zentz, Amy Bonner, and Troy Winders. And we're back to action, getting ready for the second quarter. It's McCall with it right point. Top of the key, Johnson. 
Shovel pass over to Thompson. She has not scored yet. Leading scorer for Stanford, averaging 18 points a game. Finds Samuelson. Looking inside to McCall. Nice catch, but missed it with some contact from Jody. Here come the Flyers on the attack on top by 10. First possession here in the second quarter. It's Austria with it near side. Guarded by Samuelson. Kelly, crossover move. Finds Sasha Grant Allen, top of the circle. Back to Austria, over to Burdett. We'll drive it with the right hand. Can anybody stop Jenna Burdett? Three threes, two fantastic drives to the basket. And with 13 points, the Flyers find themselves up by 12, 26-14. A lot of thanks to Jenna Burdett. Sophomore from Coolville, Ohio. Thompson gonna throw it in the corner, Samuelson. On the floor for the first time, it's Brittany McPhee wearing the number 12. She'll get it here in the corner. Thought about a three, five seconds to shoot. Pull up jumper from 10. Nice play there. From the sophomore out of Norman Park, Washington. 26-16, Dayton on top by 10, 8.38 on the clock. Here's Austria on the drive. Now we'll back it out with a bounce. Inside to Jody on the catch, double team. Kick out, Jenna Burdett a three. Missed it long, rebound fought for, Samuelson pulled it down. Here come the Cardinal, trailing by 10. It's Johnson, right elbow, out to Samuelson, right wing. Thought about getting it to Thompson, but Austria cut off the pass. They'd have to go to McCall, and this is Thompson now with it. Wearing the number one, nice pick and roll play there. McCall on the catch will finish right in front of the hoop. Erica McCall with 10 points. Second player with double figures here. And this one, Jenna Burdett, the other one. And here are the Flyers on top by eight. 26 18, it's Burdett with the basketball. Getting a ball screen from Jody. Kick in the corner, Austria three. Rebound came out long off the fingertips of Jody. And we're going to see a substitution from Dayton. Maddie Dennis from Perth, Australia. Talked about the Australian on the other side for Stanford, Alana Smith playing U19 basketball in Russia. Dennis also played U17 for Australia. Here's Stanford with the basketball trailing by eight. Samuelson has been quiet. We'll give it up to McCall on the left side. Shovel pass to McPhee, guarded by Burdett. Loses the handle and I think she ran into her own player. McPhee and McCall, a mix up. And with that, a turnover. Cardinal turned it over seven times in that first quarter. Burdett handling the pressure from Thompson, finds Dean. Flyers leading scorer has been scoreless. Finds Dennis, three ball. Missed it long, rebound though, came to Jenna Burdett. New possession for the Flyers. Austria with it, left side, gets a ball screen, moving to the right side, finds Dean. Gonna drive it. Amber Dean, too strong. And I think we got a charge. Amber gonna be called for the player control foul. Here's Thompson. At 28 yesterday. Finds McPhee in between the circles. Samuelson hit five threes yesterday. Touches it here high on the left side to Johnson. Nice play. McCall finishes and Jim Jaber not happy with his group. A timeout for the Flyers as McCall 12 points on a fantastic finish. And nice setup for Tara Vanderveer's group from California. We'll take a break. Flyers on top by six. 26 to 20. Semifinal of the Gulf Coast Showcase.
Arrow in Orlando with the Flyers getting the day off today on the men's side. The band, Rooney, and uh, quite a few of the Flyer faithful were able to make the three hour drive south here to Fort Myers. And we are happy to have them. There's Dayton on top by six, 26-20. Javonna Layfield back into the game. Burdett will take a seat. Sort of a bigger lineup here for Dayton. Kelly Austria has it left side. Finds Grant Allen. Over to Dean. 6.26 on the clock. Dean back to Austria. Almost lost it. Layfield on a nice save. Kick in the corner. Andy will drive baseline. Tried to get it to Grant Allen. Ball was deflected. And boy, what a hustle play we got here. Grant Allen and Thompson wrestling. And finally the whistle blown. And the jump ball. Possession arrow stays with Dayton. But unfortunately for the Flyers, one second on the shot clock. So Dayton has got to be quick here. And we'll see what Amber Dean has as she'll inbound. I think the officials right now are talking to see if Thompson had possession, and they said that she did. So a break there for UD is they'll get a fresh shot clock. Dean to throw it in, finds Sikovic. We'll take a dribble and get it to Kelly Austria. Driving on the left side, Kelly cut off. Wild pass out front, finds Amber Dean. She'll pull the trigger. Amber missed his short. Tough night shooting for Amber. And here's Thompson back the other way. Long two, in and out. Rebound came to McPhee, back out to Thompson. And a new possession here for the Cardinal. McCall, right elbow, shovel pass. Thompson knocks that one in for the foul line. Kelly Austria had a hand right in Thompson's face, but the talented junior from Mansfield, Texas, was able to bury it and cuts the lead to four. Here's Sikovic, a 15-footer. And Andy, her second field goal of the night, pushes the lead back to six, 28-22, 5-17 on the clock. Here's McCall on the baseline, working on Sasha Grant Allen. We'll get it back out to Samuelson. Finds Johnson top the key. Looking inside to McCall, we'll go to Thompson, left wing, guarded by Layfield. Giovanna with a big block, and here's a foul. Uh, Dayton fans not happy about that whistle, and I think a lot of it has to do with the official that made the call. Coach Jaber getting an explanation. Surprising that it's not a shooting foul, and that's my only concern. I'm guessing they say that Javana fouled her after she blocked the shot, but if she didn't have control of it, then I would think that she would have every right to a loose ball, as with Thompson, but not the case, and with the foul, it's Stanford basketball on top by six, 4.48 on the clock. Thompson, pick and roll play, got it underneath to Smith, and she was fouled on her way up, so she'll shoot two. I will say this, how about the closeout from Javonna Layfield, sophomore from Louisville, extremely athletic, and showed it on that play as the Flyers look to make a change. That is a foul on Grant Allen, which is her second. Smith, free throw, up and in, and that's the first make from the line for the Stanford Cardinal. Smith, second free throw, finds the bottom of the well. Eight points for the freshman from Australia, and cuts the lead to four, 28-24. Dayton with the basketball and on top. Dean, guarded by Thompson, will find Sikovic. Hot hand, three ball, back iron, rebound, fought for, and it will go to Stanford. So the Flyers had a 10-point lead, but Stanford has made their way back here in the second quarter, and we got ourselves a great game here at a great tournament, the Gulf Coast Showcase. Sneezik running the point for Coach Vanderveer's squad, finds Thompson, guarded by Layfield. Gets over to Samuelson. Back to Thompson, 14 to shoot, 4-10 on the game clock. 
Thompson gonna drive, left side, nice pass over to McCall. Another easy two for Erica McCall. 14 points for the junior, and Jim Jaber will call timeout. Flyers being led by Jenna Burdett with 13 points. But we have not seen Burdett much here in the second quarter. Jenna came out in that first quarter on a fire. Three threes, two great drives to the basket. And here she comes. The sophomore will check back into this game. And Jenna will have to wait for the next stoppage in play. So Kelly Austria will run the show for Dayton. Team up on top by two. Inside of four minutes to play here in the half. It's Dean with it high on the right side. It's a ball screen from Sikovic. Now finds Andy on the pick and pop to Layfield. Top the circle. Over to Dean. Ten seconds to shoot. Maddie Dennis wants a three. Was short. Rebound pulled down by the Cardinal. Here comes Sneezik into the front court. Throws in the corner. Nice save there by Thompson. Got it to Samuelson. And then Stanford with 20 seconds to shoot will reset with Sneezik. Over to Thompson. On a drive, kick out, Sneezik, thought about three. Tried to get it underneath the McCall, good hands there by the Flyers. On a deflection, Austria coming back the other way to the hoop. Missed the shot. And Stanford looks to tie this game or possibly take the lead. Here's McCall inside, kick out, Smith off the back iron. Rebound. Comes to Maddie Dennis, will bring it up the floor, finds Dean, a three ball, bang! Amber Dean with a big basket as the Flyer is able to get off 28 and they bump this lead to five. That's Amber's first field goal of the game. Back on the defensive end, will cover Samuelson. Smith now with it. Trying to find Thompson and Javana Layfield. Was thinking about an easy two on the other end. Some might say that could be pass interference. <laughs> Javana though, bringing some energy on the defensive end. And that being her second foul, she'll take a seat. Jenna Burdett into the contest and also Lauren Canatelli, who is a freshman out of Cincinnati, Ohio, played her high school basketball at Lakota West, had a career high yesterday with seven points off the pine for Jim Jaber's group. Canatelli will get the tough assignment of guarding Thompson. Thompson was able to get by Canatelli and then fouled by Dennis. And that is the fifth team foul against the Flyers. So two free throws come in here for Lily Thompson. Of course, in the women's game, they've gotten rid of the one and one. And when teams get to five fouls in each quarter, it's two free throws. And this is a very talented free throw shooter. Thompson knocking in the first. 88% on the year for Lily Thompson. And with those two free throws, her first two points. 31-28, Dayton on top by three. 2.20 on the clock, first half. Second quarter, Kenatelli with it. Inside to Sikovic, going to work. Andy double teamed, flipped it up off the back of the glass and rolled around on the rim but just wouldn't go down. Rebound comes to Stanford and the Cardinal trailing by three. It's Thompson, we'll get it over to Samuelson. Inside to McCall, face up, jumper, no. Rebound, Matty Dennis. Here's Burdett looking to push. Finds Kenatelli, a deep three. Wow! Lauren Kenatelli without any hesitation, buried it from the near side and bumps the lead to six, 34-28. Thompson will find Roberson, back to Thompson, Smith in on the action. Samuelson now on the near wing. Finds Smith going to the hoop. Nice move, Smith working on another Australian, was able to beat Dennis there. And Smith off the bench now with 10 points. Kenatelli will try another three, wow! 
Lauren Canatelli showing off her range. And Dayton shooting it extremely well from downtown. Flyers bump the lead to seven, 37-30. We'll take a short break and a word from the A-10. Hey, A-10. Happy holidays. Hope you enjoyed Thanksgiving. The Gulf Coast Showcase. And the winner is going to be playing in the final tomorrow night at 7.30. Consolation game will be at 5 p.m. Back to action. This is Stanford. With the basketball, Roberson finds McCall, leading the Cardinal in scoring with 14 points. She'll find Samuelson. Has yet to score in this game to Thompson, guarded by Burdett to McCall, driving it right side, kick out. And we got a charge on the pass. Amber Dean was able to step in and draw the charge on McCall. And that's her second foul, so she'll go to the bench. And coming on will be Kaylee Johnson. 56 seconds left here in our first half. Burdett across the timeline, guarded by Roberson, finds Dean to Kinatelli. Back to Dean, deep three. The Flyers are on fire. Amber Dean, her second three of the game, and it's a 10-point lead for Dayton. 40-30, deep three here for Smith. Is this fun or what? How about the offense in this contest? 40-33, 28 seconds. Dean going to the hoop. Bumped, bounce pass, Jody, long two, in and out. Rebound, Johnson. Stanford's got a chance to hold for the last shot. Thompson will slow things down. Guarded by Canatelli, 10 seconds. Looking for a ball screen, gets one from Johnson. Might have got away with a travel. Now we'll try and find Johnson. She traveled. They were going to call a foul on the Flyers. One official had the hand up as if it was a push, and instead, the other one coming in, motioning to travel. So that's a big play. Thinking about an and one to the Flyers now. Chance to score here late. 2.8 on the clock. Burnett a heave at half court. Missed it, and Dayton will go into the locker room on top by seven. What a game we got. Dayton 40, Stanford 33, and we saw some fireworks in that first half. Come back, and we will uh, let you know some of the other results when talking about the Gulf Coast Showcase. And we'll also look at the stats from the first 20 minutes. Dayton leading by seven against the 13th ranked Stanford Cardinal. It's Flyers 40, Cardinal 33. This is the A-10 Network.
Welcome back to the Gulf Coast Showcase. The Dayton Flyers on top of the break. 40 to 33 as we get ready for our second half. Stanford gonna be moving right to left. Cardinal will get the ball here to start. Uh, Smith will get the nod. Coming off the bench in that first half. At 13 points, will inbound it and now gets it back. Here's Roberson moving at far side. Samuelson, right wing to Thompson, guarded by Burdett. Finds Roberson, left wing, top of the key. Thompson going to drive it. Find McCall, foul line over to Smith. Three ball. Alana Smith has been a huge lift off the bench as the Australian. 16 points, cuts the lead to four. 40-36, here's Kelly Austria with it. Left side, guarded by Samuelson, finds Sasha Grant Allen, playing with two fouls. Back over to Austria. Kelly, dribbling top of the key, seven to shoot, finds Dennis. Four, in the paint to Sasha Grant Allen, kick out, Dennis, beat the buzzer. Maddie Dennis, a huge make. Got it off just in time. And the other freshman from Australia able to answer. 43-36. Here's Smith finding Samuelson. Has been quiet. Dribbling to the foul line now gets to McCall. To Thompson, shovel pass, Roberson. Has been quiet in this one. Smith with it on the left wing. Finds Thompson, guarded by Austria. Eight seconds to shoot. Thompson thought about letting it go. We'll give it to Smith. Back to Thompson, ball deflected. Three seconds. Thompson fires a three, hit the rim. Rebound, though, pulled down by Dayton. Got a foul. It's going against Smith. Boy, Kelly Austria was named to the all-defensive team last year in the conference. Had eight steals in their victory against Wisconsin. She just knows how to defend. And a huge deflection there was able to disrupt Thompson. 43-36, here's Austria on a drive. We got a foul on Samuelson. 8.09 on the clock. Dean to inbound. The senior will find the sophomore, Jenna Burdett to Austria, back over to Dean, left side, crossover move, kick in the corner, Burdett, ball fake, inside to Sasha Grant Allen. Sasha missed it on the right side, but rebound came out long. Burdett finds Andy Sikovich, going to the hoop. Shot was blocked by Smith. I think the UD coaches were looking for a foul, but Smith, see what she's been able to do on the offensive end, making a nice play defensively there. Flyers with 23 seconds left on the shot clock. It's Amber Dean near side, gonna dribble foul line, kick in the corner, Burdett a three, missed it long, rebound, and we got a whistle and a foul. Andy Sikovic gonna be called, going over the back of Smith. Here's Roberson, running the point for Coach Vanderveer's Stanford Cardinal, ranked 13th, Thompson, Averaging 18 on the season, four in this game, make it seven. Lily Thompson knocks it in. Cuts the lead to four, 43-39, 7.20 left. Here in the third quarter, Flyers wanted a foul on Thompson, won't get it. Inside to Sikovic, out to Grant Allen, long two, no, rebound Smith. Here's Thompson looking to push. Cut off by Dean. With the right hand, finds Smith, who wasn't looking, but nice hands. The freshman able to make the catch. It's Roberson on a drive, getting to the hoop, and able to draw a foul. She'll shoot two. Andy picks up the foul. That's her second, team second, and with 6.51 left here in the third quarter. Dayton's going to make a change. As Jody Corneli Sigmundova comes in. Roberson makes the free throw. That's her first point in this contest. Roberson averaging nine points on the season. 
Stanford only lost one game when looking at the 2015-16 campaign. Substitution for the Cardinal. Kylie Johnson comes on. Lana Smith goes off. Roberson trying to go two for two from the line. Missed the free throw, rebound Stacia Grant Allen. That loss was to Santa Clara at home. Dean looking to go coast to coast. Amber missed it at the rim, got it back. Unable to finish a second time. Jody tried her luck. Missed the shot, and here we got a jump ball. And it's gonna be Dayton Arrow. Flyers on top by three, 6.39 on the clock. Third quarter, Amber to inbound. Finds Austria in the short corner. Finds Burdett on a drive, kick to Dean. Thought about three, we'll get it inside to Sasha Grant Allen. Finds Jody, over to Amber, three ball. Missed it long. Rebound Thompson. Lili quickly the other way. Finds Samuelson. It's good and we're tied. 43-43 as Samuelson, her first make. And here comes Jenna Burdett quickly the other way. Losing it in the middle of the lane. Thompson coming back and Stanford looking for their first lead. Pull up three. Missed it. Rebound Jody. Corneli Sigmundova. Nice job by the senior out of France to get back and more importantly box out. Austria, nice behind the back move, some contact, missed the shot and the rebound, it's gonna stay with Dayton. Boy, I, Jim Jaber's got his hands on his head and I don't blame him. Kelly Austria made a great move there and flat out got bumped. But the Flyers able to keep possession. It's Layfield with it, top the key. Working on Samuelson, gets a ball screen here. We'll pull the trigger, Javana Layfield. Long two for the sophomore out of Louisville. The Flyers back with the lead. Here's Thompson going hard to the hoop, was fouled. Nice sound of sportsmanship there by Sasha Grant Allen. And Coach Jim Jaber pointing to the other end of the court. So Thompson will get two free throws, almost automatic at the line. The talented junior from Texas, shooting close to 90% from the stripe, trying to tie this game. Free throw up and in, nothing but nylon. Matty Dennis will come back on for the Flyers. The freshman, the big three earlier in the half, will replace Sasha. He's now going to the pine with three fouls. It was also the third team foul against the Flyers for the quarter. Thompson knocking in both free throws. Starting to find a rhythm. Lili, nine points, five here in the corner. Nice deflection here on the defensive end as Burdett was trying to get it over to Austria. 45-45, what a game between two fantastic programs. And boy, Dayton with a careless turnover there. As Layfield trying to get a Burdett, it was one of those moments where one person zig, the other person zag. So here's Stanford looking for the lead, something that they have not had in this game. It's Roberson right side, three ball, missed it, but got it back, followed her shot. Out front to McCall and a new shot clock here for Stanford. It's Johnson. Left elbow, backdoor play, and the Cardinal have the lead. Roberson on the make, three points, and it's 47-45 in favor of Stanford. Burdett into the front court. Throwing it to Austria. Up front, guarded by Roberson. Gets a ball screen, Kelly. We'll get it to Layfield, top the key, Dennis. Inside to Jody. And we got a whistle and a foul. As there was a mouse in the house, Jody a significant size advantage when talking about length over the five foot seven Roberson. And with that foul, we have a break. Stanford 47, Dayton 45. 438 left in the third quarter at the Gulf Coast Showcase. This is the A10 Network.
Marcus in Southwest Florida. Alex Munkus with you on a Saturday night in a great game. Stanford on top by two. 47-45, largest lead for the Flyers was 12. Stanford with their first lead in this ball game. And their guard starting to pick up the play. So Lily Thompson had just four points at the break, has got nine. Brianna Roberson was scoreless. She's got three, and it's Stanford's guards who have sort of come to life here in the third quarter. Dayton will have the basketball off the timeout as it'll be Amber Dean to inbounds. A box set here for the Flyers. Dean will throw it to Austria, far corner. In front of the UD bench, gets it to Burdett. Still leading the Flyers in scoring with 13. We'll get it over to Amber Dean, top the key to Jody. Inside to Maddie Dennis, and her shot was blocked. Boy, Dennis was open for just a quick second, but McCall came over in a hurry. And Stanford trying to add to this two-point advantage. McCall to the hoop. Nice pick and roll play there. And McCall now with 16 points to match Alana Smith. Flyers down by four, 49-45. Here's Austria, top the key. Crossover move, driving to the hoop. And we got a jump ball. It's going to go back to Stanford. Right now, the Cardinal sort of showing their strength. A couple of blocks the last few times down. Stanford looking to add to this four-point lead. Roberson driving, middle of the lane, nice bounce pass. But McCall just wasn't ready for it, and it might have been a little too low. Andy Sikovic goes off, and Matty Dennis will take a seat. Or excuse me, Sikovic comes on. And the junior from Croatia, four points. Trying to find a spark here for the Flyers. Here's Austria on a drive, cut off, baseline, out front, Sikovic with the catch, finds Dean, 16 seconds to shoot. Flyers had a seven point lead at the break. It's been all Stanford though here in the third quarter. Here's Burdett driving to the hoop. Nice kick to Austria, three ball, missed it. Dayton coming up empty and Stanford looking to push. Samuelson open three in the corner. Missed it long, rebound fought for. Came back to Samuelson and she was fouled by Sikovic. Boy, the ball just bouncing the right way for the Cardinal. Samuelson took a hard hit there. Samuelson on the season, shooting 57% from the foul line, but not many attempts. A very talented shooter. Knocks that one in, four points for the junior. Bumps the lead to five. Second free throw up and in. Five points from Samuelson. And right now an 18 to five run for the Cardinal. Flyers down by six and they need some offense. It's Austria in between the circle. Finds Burdett, a three off the back iron but rebound came out long and the Flyers get a new shot clock. Inside they'll go to Jody. Back out to Dean, thought about three. We're going to call three seconds on Jody Corneli Sigmundova. Wow. 2.55 on the clock. Here's Stanford on top by six points. Thompson high post to McCall. Back to Thompson. Foul line over to Roberson. Thought about three, won't fire. Gets it back to Thompson. 14 seconds to shoot. It's Johnson over to Roberson. It's a ball screen. Long two, missed it on the front rim. Rebound for Neely Sigmundova to Amber Dean. Going to the hoop, Dean missed the shot on the right side. Rebound came to Stanford, but Kelly Austria on the steal and a fantastic reverse layup and the Flyers needed that one. 51-47, Dayton cuts the lead to four. Here's Thompson, gets a ball screen, a moving screen. Thompson missed the shot, but it would not have counted as McCall whistled for the illegal screen. And 2.08 on the clock, a costly turnover there maybe for Stanford. And Dayton able to get off 45. We'll see if they can come up with some points here on this offensive trip. Sneezik into the game for Stanford. She's guarding the ball handler, Burdett. 
Here's Jody with it right side, gonna back down Sneezik. Spin move, triple team, got it to Austria. Pull up jumper, Kelly Austria finding some offense. Cuts the lead to two, she's got 10 points here in the game. 51-49, here's Thompson. Get it to Samuelson in the corner. Pick and roll, stolen away by Jody. And the senior looking to go coast to coast. Jody off the glass, my oh my. Defense leading to offense, and the Flyers have tied the game. 129 on the clock, 51-51. Here's Sneezik in the corner, Thompson. Up top, Johnson. Over to Sneezik. Pick and roll play, Johnson on a drive. Kick out, Thompson. Corner, Samuelson, open three, no, rebound. It's Johnson, and they're gonna call a foul on Amber Dean on the box out. Dean at five foot nine, a tough, tough task when look, working on six foot three, Kylie Johnson. And uh, the Flyer fans not happy about that call. Free throw up and in from Johnson. It's her first point this game. Kaylee Johnson will come in. A broadcaster's worst nightmare. Kylie Johnson at the line and Kaylee Johnson checking in. Second free throw from Kylie. It's good. Smith will replace Kylie Johnson. 16 points off the bench. 53-51 off the made free throws. Stanford on top of Dayton with the basketball. One minute to play. Jody feeling it. A long two. Missing the shot in the air ball. It'll be Stanford basketball. Sneezik into the front court on the far side, guarded by Burdett. Finding McPhee, who just checked in. And we got an illegal screen against Stanford. And it will go back to the Flyers. Fifty-four, fifty-one. that's what the scoreboard shows. I was under, yeah, it's 53-51, they get it right now. I was confused there for a second. Here's Austria on the drive. Finds Dean, baseline, back out to Austria. 15 seconds to shoot, Kelly gonna drive. Kick the Dean, three ball, bang! Amber Dean gives the Flyers the lead back. Three threes in the game, nine points for Amber, and the Flyers on top by one, 54-53. Sneezik, dribbling, finds Smith. This is Thompson. Nine points for the junior, guarded by Austria. Shot clock's been turned off. 12 seconds, Thompson gets a ball screen from Johnson, driving it, right side, charge. Jim Jaber is fired up as Amber Dean stood in there and took another charge. And it also took quite the hit. 7.3 on the clock, Burdett will bring it into the front court. Looks at the clock, five seconds. Over to Jody, corner to Dean. Missed it off the back rim. If you're thinking about going anywhere, you're crazy. 54-53, Dayton on top by one. We're at the Gulf Coast Showcase, and we're getting ready for the fourth quarter. We'll have it when we return. This is the A-10 Network.
14th in the country. Four and one on the year, Dayton four and zero. Oh. It's gonna be Dayton to inbound. As it'll be Jenna Burdett into the front court. Had a great start to this game. He's got 13 points. Here's Austria with it near side to Jody. Over to Amber Dean. Guarded by Thompson. Back to Jody Corneli Sigmundova. Nice drive. Dump off pass to Sikovic. And Samuelson came over to help. Arrow points to Stanford. So the Cardinal will look for the lead. Stanford got their first lead at 47 45. Here's Thompson. Over to Samuelson. Back to Thompson, to Smith. Near side, Roberson, guarded by Burdett, finds McCall. It's been quiet here in the second half. Thompson in on the action, wants a three. It's good. Lily Thompson can really shoot it, folks. 46% from three, knocks in that one. She's got 12 points. Gives Stanford the lead back, 56-54. Here's Jenna Burdett, guarded by Smith. Looking inside to Jody, and a wild pass goes out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. I think there was some confusion on that last trip down for Dayton. It results in a turnover, and Stanford with a two-point lead. We'll bring the ball into the front court with Thompson. To Smith, a deep three. My goodness. Lana Smith, 19 points, and the freshman has been fantastic. Five-point lead for Stanford. That's... Jenna Burdett with the basketball. It's a ball screen from Jody. And now moves it to Sikovic inside. But the pass was not high enough and it's taken away by Roberson. Stanford looking to add to this five point advantage. Over to Smith, gonna drive to the hoop. We got a charge. We'll say this, Dayton has done a nice job in stepping in. That is the third player control foul we've seen against Stanford. Stacia Grant Allen's gonna come into the game and going off will be Andy Sikovic. So the Flyers with their tallest lineup in the paint with Grant Allen at six foot five and Jody Corneli Sigmundova at six foot four. Here's Burdett guarded by Roberson. Top the key. Looking for Jody will go to Kelly Austria. Finds Amber Dean, right wing. Flyers down by five, Dean to the hoop. Able to make the runner. Amber Dean with 11 points. Cuts the lead to three, 59-56. Here's a three from Thompson. She is feeling it. 15 points from Lili. It pushes the lead to six. That's the largest lead for Stanford, 62-56. Here's Jenna Burdett. They left her. Three ball. Missed it. Rebound. Jody knocked away by Thompson. And here comes Stanford. Thompson, guarded by Amber Dean, will give it up to Smith. Top the circle, back over to Thompson. Now finds McCall, right side Roberson to Samuelson. In the corner, guarded by Austria. To Alana Smith, now to Thompson, nine seconds to shoot. Long two, it's good. Lily Thompson trying to take over this game. And a timeout from Jim Jaber as his team's down eight with 7-11 to play here in the fourth quarter. We'll take a break. Dayton and Stanford on a Saturday.
one of the best to ever coach this game. 957 wins in the Basketball Hall of Fame. And close to becoming just the second woman to ever win a thousand games. The officials are looking at the monitor. I'm not sure what this situation is, but both teams going back to their benches. Let's take a look at some stats. Lily Thompson had just four points in the first half. She has gone off here in the second. 17 points, six assists. Erica McCall coming close to another double-double, 16 points and seven rebounds. For the Flyers, three players in double figures. 13 points from Jenna Burnett, Amber Dean with 11, and Kelly Austria with 10. So the Flyers down by eight. It's gonna be Burdett, top the key. Grant Allen inside, they're going to Jody. Kick out to Austria, 14 seconds to shoot. Jody Corneli Sigmundova, pass to Dean in the corner, back across the floor. Jody, one dribble, pull up, in and out. Rebound, Sasha Grant Allen, she was fouled, she'll shoot two free throws. Boy, that ball in and out. But Sasha was in the right spot at the right time and trying to get Dayton off 56. Stanford has started this quarter on an 11-2 run. And Sasha able to stop that. Four points for the junior out of Ontario. Make it five. Cuts the lead to six, 64-58. Austria guarding Thompson. Driving on the right side, finds Roberson. Dayton comes out in a zone. First time we've seen that today. Here's Thompson inside to McCall. Off the glass, no. Smith and Grant Allen fighting for the ball and it last touched Sasha. That ball did not hit the rim. So with that, 15 seconds on the shot clock, 627 game clock, inbound to Roberson. Dayton comes back in a man to man. Roberson to the hoop. Missed the shot. Rebound, Sasha. Up the floor to Jody. Spin move? No. Look to back down and then kick out. Here's Jenna Burdett. Right side. Ball screen. Moving it to Dean. Left wing. Amber, high post to Jody. Spin in the lane. Back out to Dean. Thought about three, won't fire. Driving it right side. Nice dump off pass. Sasha Grant Allen finishes on the left side. So the Flyers cut the lead to four. 64 60, 548 on the clock. Fourth quarter, it's Thompson on the right side. Finds Smith, a three ball. She has been the difference, folks. Alana Smith with 22 points. Buried that from the left point. And it's now 67-60. Inside to Grant Allen. Missed the shot. Got it back. Back up and in. Sasha Grant Allen coming to life here in the fourth quarter. Cuts the lead to five. 67-62. Flyers looking for a stop. It's Thompson with it right side. Finds Smith. Another three. Missed it long. She hasn't missed many. Flyers look to push. And a long pass intercepted by Thompson. Cardinal have number. It's Thompson. Putting it on the floor, we got a foul. This is gonna be the, just the first team foul against Dayton. It's against Austria. And it will be Stanford ball underneath their own hoop. Kylie Johnson gonna come in. And Alana Smith will go off. Lauren Canatelli, who was a huge spark in the first half, played just two minutes but knocked in two threes. We'll step back out on the floor. Maddie Dennis also checks in, and going off will be Stacia Grant Allen. So both teams are making changes, and it'll be Samuelson to inbound. Box set here, showed by the Cardinal. Samuelson will find Roberson. Up front to Thompson. Five minutes to play. This is Samuelson. Right side, back to Thompson. Center logo to McCall, right point. Finds Thompson, ball screen. 
Inside to McCall, good help defense right, Dennis. Back out to Thompson. Long two is good. Lili Thompson is really having a second half. 15 points, 19 for the game, and the lead's back to seven. 69-62, Austria harassed by Roberson. We'll find Dean. Dayton needs a basket. Here's Dean. Bounce pass into Dennis. Made the shot on the right side. Maddie Dennis with seven points. Cuts the lead to five, 69-64. Here's Thompson, she's had the hot hand, guarded by Austria. Finds Johnson in the corner, Samuelson. Over to McCall, looking for Roberson. Thompson just fighting through, throws her hands in the air and is able to draw a foul. That's against Lauren Canatelli. And we got a timeout on the floor. 69-64, Flyers down by five. You're listening to the A10 Network. Watching, getting ready for their game against the Purdue Boilermakers. They're in the other semifinal contest that'll be played at 7.30 tonight. Flyers had a 12 point lead, but Stanford has come on strong here in the second half. And Dayton finds themselves down by five. Off the timeout, it'll be Samuelson, Johnson, McCall, Roberson, and Thompson. Flyers back out on the floor with Canatelli, Burdett, Corneli, Sigmundova, Dean, and Dennis. Dayton looking for a stop, trailing by five. 4 one left in this game. And it's going to be Samuelson to inbound. We'll find Thompson in the corner, far side. Going to McCall, missed the shot. Rebound came to Johnson, knocked away by Burdett. Loose ball, and it's going to come out to Lauren Canatelli. Flyers with a big stop there. Can they find some points? Down by five. A near turnover as Canatelli able to collect. Thought about three. Bounce pass inside and a travel. The coach is telling Lauren to let it go. She was a little hesitant on that shot. Knocked in. Two three-pointers in the first half. Freshman turns it over there and back to Stanford. Cardinal with a five-point lead. Johnson with a left point over to Roberson. Finds McCall. This is Samuelson. Gets a ball screen up to Kylie Johnson to Thompson. Guarded by Burdett. Nice play. But Johnson missed a layup. And the ball goes out of bounds. Who did last touch? Stanford. Wow. Well, folks, you can circle that play, 69-64. Johnson with a wide open layup to make it a seven point contest. And here come the Flyers trying to make this a one possession game. Burdett finds Austria. It's a ball screen from Jody, driving in on the left side, guarded by McCall. To Dean, Dennis, top the key. Ball fake, one dribble, fires from 15, in and out. Flyers can not just, they can't buy a bucket here in the second half from distance. 69-64, and the Flyers back playing man-to-man. -man. Here's Roberson to Johnson. Finds Samuelson, Thompson. 
Pulls up from the elbow, missed the shot, rebound fought for. It comes to Amber Dean. Flyers look to attack. Dean finds Jenna Burdett, a three. Air ball. Would have been big, but the Flyers come up empty. Down by five. Here's Thompson. Patient. It's McCall. Samuelson, right wing. Guarded by Dean. It's Johnson to Thompson. Pick and roll play to Johnson. Kick in the corner. Roberson, pull up jumper. Missed the shot. Good box out by Jody. She looks to attack, but threw it away. Try to get it up to Austria. Smart play there by Thompson. And the clock definitely on Stanford's side. 150 and Thompson to slow things up. Dribbling at the center logo. Dane with just two team fouls of there to get in a situation trying to put Stanford at the line. Here's Thompson with the ball back after handing it to McCall. Eight seconds to shoot, guarded by Austria. Throws it to Roberson in the corner. Pull up three, you no. Know, rebound fought for, Johnson got it. Missed the layup again. Here comes Dayton, one minute left. And some change. Dennis wants a three. Missed it on the front rim, and the Flyers just can't buy a bucket. 108, and it'll be interesting to see what Jim Jaber does here. I think you got a foul. Thompson. Ball stolen away by Austria. Kelly on the attack. Missed the shot, but was fouled. She'll shoot two. Wow. Boy, Stanford having a chance to finish this game and just sort of leaving the door open for the Dayton Flyers. You wonder what Thompson was thinking there. And Kelly Austria, being the defender that she is, was able to knock it away and trying to make this a one possession game at the foul line. A quiet Germain arena. Free throw up and in from Kelly. Boy, it got quiet there. <laughs> Sasha Gray and Allen into the contest. And also Andy Sikovich will find her way on the floor. Maddie Dennis and Jody Corneli Sigmundova go off. Austria trying to make this a one possession game. Missed it. We got a whistle and a shot clock violation. No, a lane violation. Boy, Sasha had a layup. Dayton's uh, Venge not too happy about that. They're going to call time. I think there's an issue with the clock, too. They started the clock, and if it was a lane violation, they got to push it back to 50, and they do. Officials tonight, Mark Zentz, Amy Bonner, and Troy Winders. Austria gets another toss here, knocks it in. So Kelly with 12 points, Dayton will pressure. 69-66. This is Thompson working on the right side, up top to Johnson. Back to Thompson. 20 seconds to shoot. Thompson guarded by Kelly. Flyers trying to get a stop. Samuelson with it on the wing. Cross court pass. This is Roberson. One dribble finds Johnson in the corner. Samuelson, maybe the dagger. Big three. A huge shot from Carly Samuelson. And the junior out of Huntington Beach, California, now with eight points in the game. The officials blew the whistle. I'm not, I, I think they might be looking to see if this is, I don't know if there was a timeout or there's a clock issue. And now Coach Jaber is gonna call time. We'll stay here. Stanford on top by six, a huge three there in a one possession game. Carly Samuelson, who had not had the best night shooting, steps up big time and makes this a six point game, 72-66 with 23 seconds left. Winner will play tomorrow night at 7.30 while the loser will play at 5 p.m. And Dayton will be 
playing either Purdue or Louisville. And that will be our final game here today at the Gulf Coast Showcase. Interesting for the Flyers if they were to meet up with Purdue. They would be playing the Boilermakers two times in just one week. As Dayton will be playing Purdue next Sunday. But still some work here as the Flyers with 23 seconds left in the contest will have the basketball at half court. This is a new rule. If you call timeout, you're able to advance the ball inside of a minute to play. So we'll see what Jim Jaber drew up for his group. And Amber Dean to throw it into Sasha Grant Allen. Going to work. Sasha missed the shot. Rebound Stanford. And Dayton will be forced to foul. But a long way away from free throws. And that is sort of the unfortunate thing when looking at the new rules and no longer that one and one. Dayton's gonna try and force a turnover here and then be forced to foul. Here's Roberson, she's tied up by Burdett in Austria. Actually, they're gonna get the foul on Stacia Grant Allen. She was helping with Burdett. Fourth foul, so the next foul will put Stanford at the line shooting two. 72-66, you just don't want Thompson touching this. It's the last person you want to foul. There's a foul on Roberson. Brianna Roberson, just three points in the game at 18 yesterday in their win against Missouri State. 72-66 and two free throws here for the Cardinal. Matty Dennis going to come back on. Roberson's free throw, good. Mentioned uh, Coach Vanderveer being 30 years at Stanford. Her associate head coach, Amy Tucker, one of the best Ohio State Buckeyes to ever play, been there 31 years. Roberson knocks in another free throw, makes it a eight point contest, 74-66. Here's Burdett into the front court. Finds Dean, Flyers gotta go quickly. Dean loses the handle, comes to Burdett, and there's a foul. Just the fourth team foul for Stanford. Javonna Layfield gonna come in. 2.9 on the clock. And Maddie Dennis will go off. Flyers gonna be falling to four and one. It'll be their first loss of the season. Dean throws it to Burdett. Well, fire the three. And our final score, it's Dayton, or excuse me, Stanford, 74. Dayton, 66. Take a break, and we'll return to wrap this one up for the Gulf Coast Showcase. Stanford a winner. This is the A-10 Network.